Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking rice with tuna and peas. A quick to make 20 minute recipe, budget friendly and for around 5 euros or less. So let's start cooking. Okay, so we we'll start off by turning this stove up. We'll turn it up to number 7. And I'm just going to add about three tablespoons of olive oil and we'll wait for that to slightly heat up. By the way, the ingredients that I'm using, they're in the description as usual. So once the oil is slightly hot, what I'll do is add the onion. I'm using half a medium sized onion, finely chopped. You can add more if you like, it's entirely up to you. And I'm using three garlic cloves, it's chopped also. Again, you can add more or you can add less. You're the boss. And we'll gently fry that off until it's getting a brownish colour. So, once the onion is starting to brown off and the garlic, what I'll do is I'm going to add a stock cube, I'm going to crumble it in. I like doing these strange dishes every now and then. I usually do them a few days before I have to do a big shop. That way I can clean the fridge and freezer out and stock it up with fresh stuff. The thing is if I don't, I'm going to add some paprika as well one small teaspoon. If I don't, once I get new stock in, I'm tempted to use the new stuff. And the old stuff that's left over, it'll end up going bad. And we can't be having that, can we? Right, so the paprika in, the stock cubes in. Um, let's add a tiny bit of water to that, to dissolve that stock cube. And once it's dissolved, I'm going to add the two tins of tuna. The tuna that I use, you probably know, I buy it in kilo tins. So I'll probably, I'll probably add the equivalent of two and a half, three small tins of tuna. You can add more or less if you like. And I'm going to add the peas also. Get in there. And the fried tomato also. Let me just add some water there because you'd be amazed how much tomato is in the sides and if you don't add some water and shake it you'll end up throwing it away which is a waste. So let's get that a good shake and we'll add it there as well. Nice. Right, let's move this about. And we'll leave it there. I'll cover it up. We'll leave it there for five minutes. So after the five minutes have gone by, what we'll do is add the rice. I spread it nice and evenly. Mm. 
and I'm just going to add some salt because that stock cube does have salt but not that much not like the the liquid stock that I buy which doesn't need any salt and I'll just add the water as well it's about half a litre of water and I'm just going to cover it up and leave it there for five minutes until it starts boiling and after five minutes once this starts boiling I'll just mix this about a bit and I'll cover it back up and it should be ready in about 10 minutes to what the rice takes so in 10 minutes time I'll come back right so time's up and let's have a look at this mmm nice what I'm going to do is just have a look have a taste of this rice to see if it's cooked fully mmm delicious so I'm going to turn the stove off still um, quite watery at the moment but I'll cover it up and I'll leave it to one side for five minutes and then it'll be nice and ready to serve well, so today's lunch is ready. Nice and easy to do, very quick and budget friendly. Thank you for watching and goodbye.